The reuse program is a uh, summer program for undergraduates from all over the United States. We started it because we saw that we were getting a less and less diverse applicant pool to our graduate program. We wanted to reach an audience where people realize only when they got to college, when they first encountered computer science in a formal way, uh, that maybe that you know this is the right field for them and they want to conduct research in it. I did my undergrad degree at Bard College in New York. I did not know I wanted to study computer science. I actually went there for a classical vocal performance, which is very different from what I'm doing now. So I think there are two big benefits that RU students get out of this program. They have a chance to come here, work with grad students, with our you know, worldwide well-recognized faculty on a wide variety of problems in software engineering research. And they get to see what, you know, what the day-to-day -day of being a PhD student and what having a research career could really be like. And I think that's really valuable. And at the same time, they actually get to get hands-on and start to learn about research techniques, the research problems in the field, and actually start solving them um, and participating as scientists right away. I think CMU is an amazing place to do interdisciplinary software engineering research. Most departments in this country might have one or two people who work in this general area and we have well into the double digits. I don't think there's a place like CMU on earth for doing research, especially in our field, and they get to be first class citizens of that right away from the first day they come to campus. We're doing a lot of stuff that people haven't really done before. Internet fairness and congestion control algorithms hasn't really been touched by a lot of other institutions. There's so many research software engineering topics, for example, programming language research and using genetic algorithms for program repair. And CMU does it all, so I was able to get exposure in all of these different topics. And I don't think I would have gotten the same exposure if I went to another REU program. The second problem we were trying to solve is that our PhD students felt after they were leaving our PhD program and going on to faculty jobs that they had no specific experience doing mentoring. So they were thrown into a job where they were job, their primary job was advising PhD students, and they never had any experience doing that. And so we, we thought this was a great opportunity to bring undergraduates from other places, give our own PhD students an opportunity to mentor young undergraduates, and also reach a broader population uh, in research. So it's really cool that our program trains our grad students to be mentors as well. It lets the, the participants, the, the undergrads, have somebody that they can talk to one-on-one -on -one and get feedback from right away. And so if they get stuck, they're not hunting down a faculty member. You know, our faculty members are very active and involved, but we train them because you don't necessarily just know how to supervise a research project or a research student, and so we think it's important that we be structured about that so that every student gets a high quality experience. Some of our RU students have ultimately ended up as PhD students in our program, and now they are mentoring too. They can help train the next generation of PhD students um, which I think has a nice um, sort of continuity to it. PhD programs don't often involve a lot of mentorship training or experience, but as a professor, that's something you're doing all day. So the REU program both gave me the opportunity to give back to a program that I had a great time in, but also for me, gave me the opportunity to practice and hone my mentorship skills um, so that I would, could be a successful academic in the future. It's really important to give the students enough independence as well as enough guidance such that they don't they don't make too much mistakes. You know, in general, that is really hard. Uh, but also extremely rewarding. So, you know, running a program like this involves, uh, you know, we provide a stipend to all the students, we provide housing for all the students, we provide travel all the students. And that's really, we, we learned very early on in the program is that all, providing all of that is really crucial to our diversity goals. If, if you provide a, $10 an hour kind of salary and don't provide housing, which many other research programs provide, then they just, those students just choose not to come because the cost of coming is much in excess of working at the movie theater or working at a summer camp. It's important for donors to get involved because we want our students to come here and have a rich life experience. It's not just about the research, we want them to come here and be part of our community as well. We, uh, what we really don't want is we, want, we don't want them to come here and be isolated. So I ultimately decided to pursue a PhD at CMU here and my decision to come back to CMU was really based on my lab here and the great fit that I experienced so I did find such a 
like a special spot here at CMU. Without the RU at Carnegie Mellon, I would not have come to the realization that I wanted to do a PhD. I didn't realize that there were so many faculty doing human-oriented software engineering research. That's the research that I wanted to do until I came for the summer. And that's why that summer was such a transformative experience. And being a part of these projects allows me to know that I'm a part of something that has the potential to possibly change the world. This RU program has a lot of support in terms of what graduate school is like. There are seminars on what it's like to apply to graduate school and also what it's like to be a graduate student. And if I didn't see that and I just would do industry internships, then I wouldn't know just how wonderful it is to do research.